I, I, I'm just fascinated by, again, going into the whole like kerning and everything like that. Like, what is it about looking at it that you go, that needs to be fixed or, or this needs to be that way? I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, yes, yes, I okay. do. I do. I think. I mean, this is just something that is um, when when you're when you're looking at letters, usually you're you're trying to look for consistency throughout the the layout, and also for a balance in terms of the spacing. So, like, you're constantly looking at the negative space of the composition, like the space within letters, in between letters, in between lines, in between columns, the gutter, and etc. And we try to find a, a balance in the arrangement of those elements whenever you're, you're working with type. And at times, if you're working with a typeface that has uh, a character that is not so properly designed, it stands out when you're when you're doing a text and it's like oh that character is just it doesn't it doesn't feel like it belongs to that family okay. like it feels like an odd uh, element so I, I think this is the thing like we are constantly looking at the shapes the shapes of the letters and trying to improve on that uh, either through type design or by working with uh, the layout of those uh, characters on any given um, project. I, I don't think there is something like, oh, this is the hardest thing. Eventually, like, of course, if you're working, let's say, with web fonts, mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe that that is um, a situation that is still finding its own way over the, the past decade, for example, because it's quite recent that people are, working with more web phones other than the ones that were bundled in the operating soft, uh, operating systems. So right now, let's say I'm developing a website I, and I'm working with web phones, I need to be concerned about what that font is going to look like, how that font is going to be rendered in, uh, in different uh, browsers, in different operating systems, mm -hmm. and it will look quite different. So like, not only the kerning, but you will looking to the hinting, which is like how the pixels will be turned on and off based on the, the instructions that come with the typeface. So I, I think it's more of a, a, a trickier situation working with type online. Getting back to the conversation that I said before, when I was working with a graphic designer who was designing a website that I was creating, that is one of the conversations I have the most is that putting something on a poster, putting something on a print, you can perfectly lay out what is worded there, how it's laid out and everything. And with a website, a website is going to be this size. It's going to be this size. It's going to have, it's going to, the, the uh, words that are put on it are going to change daily. And there is going to be, depending on the size, that one word that does wrap around underneath because you can't decide like, and I would have, they, uh, there were many conversations I would have where they're like, oh, that word is trailing underneath. You need to fix that. And I'm like, that's, that's the, that could be that way any day. Like somebody could add one extra word to something and that's, there's nothing you can do about it. And that's the, that's the interesting thing about type and web. And that's why it fascinates me because I do get like, when I see the kerning fixed, I'm like, Okay, I see what you're talking about now. But then they're using the different styles. There's mixing styles. There's all kinds of stuff. Like it, it, fonts can actually be artwork. Like behind you, there's stuff where it's less drawing than it is fonts or typography. Yeah. And it and it's not only uh, on websites, but also on eBooks. Like you oh, get yeah. to choose the size, the font size for reading on eBooks. And and once you change the font size, it changes the number of pages. It changes the whole layout. So it is this fluid. Uh, layout that is that is like the new frontier sort of saying, although it's been around for for a couple of years. But not only that, there is also something quite interesting that is um, possible because of uh, the this digital environment, which is people releasing typefaces that are in development. Mm -hmm. So like they can put typefaces for sale that are ongoing. So like this is this is something that is quite new, oh, and yeah. uh, so it's like let's say I'm working on a typeface for example, and this is something that can take months or years to be ready. And if I'm not getting paid for that, it, 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 take, it, it, is, it makes it harder. So what people do these days are like, they would release a earlier version of that phone that is not complete yet, but it's like a promise. And they are selling that for a small amount of, uh, for a small amount. Once they update that font, 
they would increase the price, but if you paid for that font early on, you get all the following updates for free. So like this is one way for like, if you bet on my project right now, I'll, I will give you all the updates in the future for free. And and this is like a this is a, a thing like you, you can have fonts available online that are officially incomplete mm -hmm. because of like I'm I'm still working on it. But if you want to use it, you you can go ahead. These are the things that are done, and these are the things that need improvement. Just so you know, so you can you can prepare yourself to to take advantage of that. Yeah, because it's the internet, and you can I mean stuff can change anytime. Mm -hmm.